In cryptography, SHA-1 is a cryptographic hash function designed by the United States National Security Agency and is a U.S. federal information processing standard published by the United States NIST. SHA-1 produces a 160-bit hash value. A SHA-1 hash value is typically rendered as a hexadecimal number, 40 digits long. SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm. The four SHA algorithms are structured differently and are named SHA0, SHA1, SHA2, and SHA3. SHA0 is the original version of the 160-bit hash function published in 1993 under the name SHA. It was not adopted by many applications. Published in 1995, SHA1 is very similar to SHA0 but alters the original SHA hash specification to correct alleged weaknesses. SHA-2, published in 2001, is significantly different from the SHA-1 hash function. SHA-1 is the most widely used of the existing SHA hash functions, and is employed in several widely used applications and protocols. In 2005, Cryptanalysts found attacks on SHA-1 suggesting that the algorithm might not be secure enough for ongoing use. NIST required many applications and federal agencies to move to SHA-2 after 2010 because of the weakness. Although no successful attacks have yet been reported on SHA-2, it is algorithmically similar to SHA-1. In 2012, following a long-running competition, NIST selected an additional algorithm, CACAC, for standardization under SHA-3. In 2013 Microsoft announced their deprecation policy on SHA-1 according to which Windows will stop accepting SHA-1 certificates in SSL by 2017. The SHA-1 hash function. SHA-1 produces a message digest based on principles similar to those used by Ronald L. Revist of MIT in the design of the MD4 and MD5 message digest algorithms but has a more conservative design. The original specification of the algorithm was published in 1993 under the title Secure Hash Standard, FIPS Pub 180, by U.S. Government Standards Agency NIST. This version is now often named SHA-0. It was withdrawn by the NSA shortly after publication and was superseded by the revised version published in 1995 in FIPS Pub 180-1 and commonly designated SHA-1. SHA-1 differs from SHA-0 only by a single bitewise rotation in the message schedule of its compression function. This was done, according to the NSA, to correct a flaw in the original algorithm which reduced its cryptographic security. However, the NSA did not provide any further explanation or identify the flaw that was corrected. Weaknesses have subsequently been reported in both SHA-0 and SHA-1. SHA-1 appears to provide greater resistance to attacks, supporting the NSAA Euro unregistered trademark S assertion that the change increased the security. Comparison of SHA functions, in the table below, internal state means the A Euro UE internal hash sumer Euro after each compression of a data block. Applications, Cryptography SHA-1 forms part of several widely used security applications and protocols, including TLS and SSL, PGP, SSH, SMIME, and IPSC. Those applications can also use MD5. Both MD5 and SHA-1 are descended from MD4. SHA-1 hashing is also used in distributed revision control systems like Git, Mercurial, and Monotone to identify revisions and to detect data corruption or tampering. The algorithm has also been used on Nintendo's Wii gaming console for signature verification when booting, but a significant implementation flaw allows for an attacker to bypass the system's security scheme. SHA-1 and SHA-2 are the secure hash algorithms required by law for use in certain U.S. government applications, including use within other cryptographic algorithms and protocols, for the protection of sensitive unclassified information. FIPS Pub 180-1 also encouraged adoption and use of SHA-1 by private and commercial organizations. SHA-1 is being retired from most government users. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology said, 
federal agencies should stop using SHA-14. Applications that require collision resistance as soon as practical, and must use the SHA-2 family of hash functions for these applications after 2010 inches, though that was later relaxed. A prime motivation for the publication of the secure hash algorithm was the digital signature standard, in which it is incorporated. The SHA hash functions have been used for the basis of the Shakel block ciphers. Data integrity, the source control management system Git uses SHA-1 not for security but for ensuring that the data has not changed due to accidental corruption. Linus Torvalds has said, if you have disk corruption, if you have DRAM corruption, if you have any kind of problems at all, Git will notice them. It's not a question of if, it's a guarantee. You can have people who try to be malicious. They won't succeed. Nobody has been able to break SHA-1, but the point is the SHA-1, as far as Git is concerned, isn't even a security feature. It's purely a consistency check. The security parts are elsewhere, so a lot of people assume that since Git uses SHA-1 and SHA-1 is used for cryptographically secure stuff, they think that, okay, it's a huge security feature. It has nothing at all to do with security, it's just the best hash you can get. I guarantee you, if you put your data in Git, you can trust the fact that five years later, after it was converted from your hard disk to DVD to whatever new technology and you copied it along, five years later you can verify that the data you get back out is the exact same data you put in. One of the reasons I care is for the kernel, we had a break-in on one of the BitKeeper sites where people tried to corrupt the kernel source code repositories. Nonetheless, without second primage resistance of SHA-1 signed commits and tags would no longer secure the state of the repository as they only sign the root of a Merkle tree. Cryptanalysis and validation, for a hash function for which L is the number of bits in the message digest. Finding a message that corresponds to a given message digest can always be done using a brute force search in approximately two L evaluations. This is called a primage attack and may or may not be practical depending on L and the particular computing environment. The second criterion, finding two different messages that produce the same message digest, namely a collision, requires on average only about 1.2 times 2 L slash 2 evaluations using a birthday attack. For the latter reason the strength of a hash function is usually compared to a symmetric cipher of half the message digest length. Thus SHA-1 was originally thought to have 80-bit strength. Cryptographers have produced collision pairs for SHA-0 and have found algorithms that should produce SHA-1 collisions in far fewer than the originally expected 280 evaluations. In terms of practical security, a major concern about these new attacks is that they might pave the way to more efficient ones. Whether this is the case is yet to be seen, but a migration to stronger hashes is believed to be prudent. Some of the applications that use cryptographic hashes, like password storage, are only minimally affected by a collision attack. Constructing a password that works for a given account requires a primage attack, as well as access to the hash of the original password, which may or may not be trivial. Reversing password encryption is not made possible by the attacks. In the case of document signing, an attacker could not simply fake a signature from an existing document a euro the attacker would have to produce a pair of documents, one innocuous and one damaging, and get the private key holder to sign the innocuous document. There are practical circumstances in which this is possible. Until the end of 2008 it was possible to create forged SSL certificates using an MD5 collision. Due to the block and iterative structure of the algorithms and the absence of additional final steps, all SHA functions are vulnerable to length extension and partial message collision attacks. These attacks allow an attacker to forge a message signed only by a keyed hash a euro or a euro by extending the message and recalculating the hash without knowing the key. The simplest improvement to prevent these attacks is to hash twice. Attacks, in early 2005, RIJMEN and Oswald published an attack on a reduced version of SHA-1 a Euro 53 out of 80 rounds a Euro, which finds collisions with a computational effort of fewer than 280 operations. In February 2005, an attack by Xi'an Wang, Yikun Lisa Yin, 
and Hongbo Yu was announced. The attacks confined collisions in the full version of SHA-1, requiring fewer than 269 operations. The authors write, in particular, our analysis is built upon the original differential attack on SHA-0, SICK, the near-collision attack on SHA-0, the multi-block collision techniques, as well as the message modification techniques used in the collision search attack on MD-5. Breaking SHA-1 would not be possible without these powerful analytical techniques. The authors have presented a collision for 58-round SHA-1, found with 233 hash operations. The paper with the full attack description was published in August 2005 at the Crypto Conference. In an interview, Yin states that, roughly, we exploit the following two weaknesses, one is that the file preprocessing step is not complicated enough. Another is that certain math operations in the first 20 rounds have unexpected security problems. On August 17, 2005, an improvement on the SHA-1 attack was announced on behalf of Xi'an Wang, Andrew Yao and Francis Yao at the Crypto 2005 Rump Session, lowering the complexity required for finding a collision in SHA-1-263. to on December 18, 2007 the details of this result were explained and verified by Martin Cochran. Christophe de Canieri and Christian Rechpka further improved the attack on SHA-1 in finding SHA-1 characteristics, general results and applications, receiving the Best Paper Award at ASIA Crypt 2006. A two-block collision for 64-round SHA-1 was presented found using unoptimized methods with 235 compression function evaluations. Since this attack requires the equivalent of about 235 evaluations, it is considered to be a significant theoretical break. Their attack was extended further to 73 rounds in 2010 by Grechnikov. In order to find an actual collision in the full 80 rounds of the hash function, however, massive amounts of computer time are required. To that end, a collision search for SHA-1 using the distributed computing platform BOINC began August 8, 2007, organized by the Graz University of Technology. The effort was abandoned May 12, 2009 due to lack of progress. At the rump session of Crypto 2006, Christian Rechpka and Christoph de Cania reclaimed to have discovered a collision attack on SHA-1 that would allow an attacker to select at least parts of the message. In 2008, an attack methodology by star copyright Fane Manuel reported hash collisions with an estimated theoretical complexity of 251 to 257 operations. However he later retracted that claim after finding that local collision paths were not actually independent, and finally quoting for the most efficient a collision vector that was already known before this work. Cameron MacDonald Philip Hawkes and Joseph Pipesick presented a hash collision attack with claimed complexity 252 at the rump session of Eurocrypt 2009. However, the accompanying paper, Differential Path for SHA-1 with Complexity O-252, has been withdrawn due to the author's discovery that their estimate was incorrect. As of 2012, the most efficient attack against SHA-1 is considered to be the one by Mark Stevens with an estimated cost of $2.77 million to break a single hash value by renting CPU power from cloud servers. Stevens developed this attack in a project called Hash Clash, implementing a differential path attack. On November 8, 2010, he claimed he had a fully working near collision attack against full SHA-1 working with an estimated complexity equivalent to 257.5 SHA-1 compressions. He estimates this attack can be extended to a full collision with a complexity around 261. SHA-0, at Crypto 98, two French researchers, Florent Chabord and Antoine Jew, presented an attack on SHA-0. Collisions can be found with complexity 261, fewer than the 280 for an ideal hash function of the same size. In 2004, Biam and Chen found near collisions for SHA-0 Euro 2 messages that hashed nearly the same value. In this case, 142 out of the 160 bits are equal. They also found full collisions of SHA-0 reduced to 62 out of its 80 rounds. Subsequently, on August 12, 2004, 
a collision for the full SHAO algorithm was announced by Ju, Caribault, Lemuet, and Jalbi. This was done by using a generalization of the Chabord and Ju attack. Finding the collision had complexity 251 and took about 80,000 CPU hours on a supercomputer with 256 Itanium II processors. On August 17, 2004, at the rump session of Crypto 2004, preliminary results were announced by Wang, Feng, Li, and Yu, about an attack on MD5, SHAO and other hash functions. The complexity of their attack on SHAO is 240, significantly better than the attack by Ju Al. In February 2005, an attack by Xiaoran on Wang, Yikun Li Yin, and Hongbo Yu was announced which could find collisions in SHAO in 239 operations. In light of the results for SHAO, some experts suggested that plans for the use of SHA1 in new crypto systems should be reconsidered. After the Crypto 2004 results were published, NIST announced that they plan to phase out the use of SHA1 by 2010 in favor of the SHA2 variants. Official Validation Implementations of all FIPS approved security functions can be officially validated through the CMVP program, jointly run by the National Institute of Standards and Technology and the Communications Security Establishment. For informal verification, a package to generate a high number of test vectors is made available for download on the NIST site. The resulting verification however does not replace, in any way, the formal CMVP validation, which is required by law for certain applications. As of December 2013, there are over 2,000 validated implementations of SHA-1, with 14 of them capable of handling messages with a length in bits not a multiple of 8. Examples and pseudocode, example hashes, these are examples of SHA-1 message digests in hexadecimal and in base 64 binary to ASCII text encoding. SHA-1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, gives hexadecimal, 2FD4E1C67A2D28FCED849A1BB76E7391B93EB12. Gives base 64 binary to ASCII text encoding, L9THXNOTKPZTHJ7O3BN or RT6I equals. Even a small change in the message will, with overwhelming probability, result in a completely different hash due to the avalanche effect. For example, changing dog to cog produces a hash with different values for 81 of the 160 bits. SHA1 the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy cog, gives hexadecimal, de 9 f 2 c 7 fd 25 e one b 3 f 3 e 85 a o b d 17 d 9 b 100 d b 4 b 3 gives base 64 binary to ASCII text encoding, 3 p 8 s f 9 j e g z r 60 plus h c 9 f 9 m x and l m equals. The hash of the zero length string is s h a 1, gives hexadecimal, Da 39 a 3 a 5 e 6 b 4 b o d 32 55 b f e f 9 5 6 0 1 8 9 0 a f d 8 0 7 0 9, gives base 64 binary to ASCII text encoding, 2 j m j 7 l 5 r s w o y v b y b w k equals. S h a 1 pseudocode, pseudocode for the S h a 1 algorithm follows. Note 1. All variables are unsigned 32 bits and wrap modulo 232 when calculating, except, ML the message length which is 64 bits, and, HH the message digest which is 160 bits. Note 2, all constants in this pseudocode are in big endian. Within each word, the most significant byte is stored in the leftmost byte position. Initialize variables. HO equals 0x67452301, H1 equals 0xEFCDAB89, H2 equals 0x98BADCFE, H3 equals 0x1032547, H4 equals 0xC3D2E1FO. ML equals message length in bits. Pre-processing, append the bit 1 to the message that is by adding 0x80 if characters are 8 bits. Append 0 a per mail currency k less than 512 bit 0, thus the resulting message length, 
is congruent to 448, append ML, in a 64-bit Big Endian integer. So now the message length is a multiple of 512 bits. Process the message in successive 512-bit chunks, break message into 512-bit chunks, for each chunk, break chunk into 1632-bit Big Endian words W, I, 0 per mil currency IA per mil 15 currency. Extend the 1632-bit words into 8032-bit words, for I from 16 to 79, W, I, equals left rotate 1. Initialize hash value for this chunk, A equals H O, B equals H1, C equals H2, D equals H3, E equals H4. Main loop, for I from 0 to 79, if 0 per mil currency I A per mil 19 currency then, F equals or and D, K equals 0 X 5 A 8 2 7 9 9 9. Else if 20 a per mil currency I A per mil 39 currency, F equals B Zor C Zor D, K equals 0 X 6 E D 9 E B A 1. Else if 40 a per mil currency I A per mil 59 currency, F equals or or, K equals 0 X 8 F 1 B B C D C, Else if 60 a per mil currency I A per mil 79 currency, F equals B Zor C Zor D. K equals 0 x C A 62 C 1 D 6. Temp equals plus F plus E plus K plus W, I, E equals D, D equals C, C equals B left rotate 30, B equals A, A equals temp. Add this chunk's hash to result so far, H O equals H O plus A, H 1 equals H 1 plus B, H 2 equals H 2 plus C, H 3 equals H 3 plus D. H4 equals H4 plus E. Produce the final hash value as a 160-bit number, HH equals or 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 H4. The number HH is the message digest, which can be written in hexadecimal, but is often written using base 64 binary to ASCII text encoding. The constant values used are chosen to be nothing up my sleeve numbers, the four round constants K are 230 times the square roots of 2, 3, 5 and 10. The first four starting values for HO through H3 are the same with the MD5 algorithm, and the fifth is similar. Instead of the formulation from the original FIPS pub 180-1 shown, the following equivalent expressions may be used to compute F in the main loop above. 0 per mil currency IA per mil 19 currency, F equals D or 0 per mil currency IA per mil 19 currency, F equals or and D, 0 per mil currency I A per mil 19 currency, F equals plus and D, 0 per mil currency I A per mil 19 currency, F equals vex L, D, C, B. 40 a per mil currency I A per mil 59 currency, F equals or, 40 a per mil currency I A per mil 59 currency, F equals or, 40 a per mil currency I A per mil 59 currency, F equals plus, 40 a per mil currency I A per mil 59 currency, F equals Zor Zor. Max Loktyakin has also shown that for the rounds 32 a euro 79 the computation of W, I, equals left rotate 1, can be replaced with W, I, equals left rotate 2. This transformation keeps all operands 64 bit aligned and, by removing the dependency of W, I, on W, I3, allows efficient SIMD implementation with a vector length of 4 like x86 SSE instructions. See also, Comparison of Cryptographic Hash Functions, Cryplib, Crypto++, Digital Time Stamping, Hashcash, Hash Collision, International Association for Cryptologic Research, LibCrypt, MD5Deep, OpenSSL, PolarSSL, Ripened160, Secure Hash Standard, Sha One Sum, Tiger, Whirlpool, Notes. References. External links. CSSC Cryptographic Toolkit A Euro Official NIST Site for the Secure Hash Standard, FIPS 180-4, Secure Hash Standard A Euro Current Version of the Secure Hash Standard, March 2012, RFC 3174, Interview with Yikun Lisa Yin concerning the attack on SHA-1. Leinster Summary of Impact of the February 2005 Cryptanalytic Results, 
Explanation of the successful attacks on SHA-1, cryptography research a Euro hash collision Q&A, online SHA-1 hash crack using rainbow tables, hash project website, software and hardware based cryptanalysis of SHA-1, SHA-1 at DMOZ, lecture on SHA-1 on YouTube by Christoph Parr.